Okay, let's uh, do page 37, number 14. This should be a quick one. Uh, if the force exerted by the fish line on the tip of the rod is four newtons, what force must the person fishing exert in the direction and location shown in the drawing below? Ignore the rod's mass and assume the rod is pivoted in the other hand. Okay, so drawing a free body diagram, there's the two forces. There is no mass of this, so we're not doing the force of the center of gravity. That's all gone. We're not doing that. And it's telling us to assume the rod is pivoted by the other hand. So they put the pivot point here. Why do they put the pivot point there? because that hand will be producing another force. It could be pushing this way to balance this. There definitely has to be some sort of upward force because this one here is a downward force down and to the right. So it needs some sort of upward. And because if we're putting the pivot point here, that force, the other hand, we don't have to worry about in the torque formula. It still exists. It's still drawn in the free body diagram. It's just not worried about in the torque formula because we're putting the pivot point there. And they're saying the other hand is holding on to this. So maybe the thumbs here and the two hand and you're holding on to it and you're pulling this way with the other hand. And that's F2 at a 30 degree angle to the rod. So we draw the rod as is done there, and now we just do the sum of the torques. Sum of the torques is equal to zero, and the pivot point is at bottom, as shown. Okay, so the torques clockwise is equal to torques counterclockwise. So the torque clockwise is the torque caused by F1, and the torque counterclockwise is the torque caused by F2. It's going to be force times distance times the sine of the angle. That has to equal force times distance times the sine of the angle. Formula for torque plug in the numbers now and then at least what we're told here this is going to be uh, F1 so the force of F1 is 4 newtons the distance up the rod from the pivot point not to the next force but to the pivot not to the center to the pivot point is 2.5 meters right this whole distance here and the sine of 90 degrees, I'll put it right in there. And that has to equal F2, which we don't know, or asked for. The distance to F2 is 1 meter, and it's the sine of 30 degrees. It is the sine between the two vectors, one, two that you really don't see here, pivot point. There's the radial arm, and there's the force. So it's the angle between the two vectors. It's that angle right there. Okay, that's this distance up and over there. So, 4 times 2.5 and sine of 90 is 1. That'll be 10 Newton meters, and that has to equal F2 times the sine of 30, which is 1 half times 1. Okay, and it's, this is going to be 1 meter here. So the unit meter cancels out, Newtons will be it, and we'll get F2 is equal to 20 Newtons. in the direction as shown in the diagram.